Hello everyone. My name is Mr. Sandesh Pare. I am currently working as an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at uh, Walchan Institute of Technology, Solapur. So today we are going to see some of the features of the Android and uh, what are the requirements to program in the Android version and the applications and the various concepts uh, in the introduction part of the Android. So, at the end of this session, students will be able to explain the basic of the Android platform or we can say that they will be introduced to the Android system. So, first of all, let us start from the introduction part, that is what is Android. As we can say, uh, the desktop versions are there, we are using the computers in day to day life and to interact with the computers, we need the operating system one because whatever the actions by the user are there, they are not identified by the machine or the system. So that the operating system is required to understand the user action and perform the particular related operation on the system. So that Windows, Linux, these are the some operating systems that are for the desktop. So, but for the mobile devices, these are not suitable. So it is the requirement of the era that we need to uh, introduce a new operating system for the mobile devices that is the android and the android is the open source operating system which is used for the mobile devices open source means the code of the operating system it is widely accessible or the modifiable for the whole universe because whatever code is there individually we can update that we can modify it and we can launch the better version of that particular operating system that's why it is called as the open source and this operating system is maintained by the google and uh, next point is the based on the linux kernel uh, we are saying that linux kernel because uh, first of all it is a open source and uh, second point is that uh, user processes and kernel processes these are differentiated just like the linux part in the android also they are se get separated from each other just like linux uh, let us start with the overview uh, first of the apps so what are the apps is nothing but the one program which is written in the android okay so one app is containing a mini activity and uh, combinedly they are performing a certain action and a complete uh, activity set okay which are for used for one purpose by the user that is called as the app and uh, uh, it is composed with the many of the components okay means uh, toolbox uh, used while developing it just like buttons okay taskbars there are a uh, number of certain activities going on in the application so it is uh, made up of different application components and second one is the pet gets okay these are different from the uh, normal applications because uh, they are providing the services to the user and they are continually continuously running at the background okay just like uh, the service just uh, like clock okay which is providing uh, the time at particular instance okay otherwise we can say that uh, temperature information okay these are the sensors uh, sensed and uh, accordingly the particular action is performed at the back end in the continuous manner so these are the widgets so they are providing the services and uh, that's why there is a point called as no need to launch this activity because they are continuously running at the back end and uh, a marketplace is also one issue because uh, uh, it is a place okay where the developed application is distributed to the user where uh, it may have 
both version that is paid or unpaid version okay means they are freely available uh, developers can access them accordingly okay so this uh, application store is uh, is used on the device to get particular applications so while programming in the android okay most of the android applications are uh, written in java first of all they are written in the c and c++ but uh, after uh, they found some limitation during uh, programming using the c c++ language that's why they introduced in the java language okay uh, and uh, there is no java virtual machine in this platform okay uh, there is one uh, special virtual machine introduced that is the dalvik virtual machine uh, which are compiled this java classes and uh, a virtual machine which is specifically designed for the android applications that is the dalvik virtual machine in short it is called as the dvm also there is one uh, software development kit in the android okay which is uh, in short called as the sdk and uh, it uh, contains a set of development tools just like uh, a debugger which is used mainly for uh, debugging your ongoing uh, developing application and uh, there are certain libraries are there uh, libraries is nothing but uh, a set of uh, ready made functions which uh, developer can use as it is okay uh, it can help during the developing of particular application and uh, while per developing the particular application in the android we can we have to perform the certain documentation also so this facility is also provided by the software development kill and uh, due to this features sdk is very useful for the developers one and uh, to access these facilities or uh, these tools okay we need to uh, install the edit edit uh, is nothing but the android development tool okay and uh, mainly the eclipse plugin is uh, used the, to access this sdk okay so there are uh, some steps uh, of the application development that is uh, first uh, you have to install the eclipse okay because uh, it is integrated development environment you have to first in, in install this and uh, after that uh, while edit bundle plugin is available there freely on the internet uh, so you have to uh, download it and install it on the your devices and uh, after that you have to set up one virtual device it is just similar to the your device okay so wh while uh, you are launching particular application it will reflect on that virtual device that you can conclude that how that particular developing uh, application will work on the particular device so to map that you need to perform this setup and uh, after that you have to actually perform the development of the ongoing android application uh, which contains the source code and the resource file of, of your application uh, mainly source code contains the different actions which you have to perform uh, during the code run and uh, resource file contains the different types of the resources just like the one image file or the particular pdf file which may be you can used while developing the particular application uh, so you need to keep it into the resource folders while developing the particular application after that uh, next step is the uh, you have to build this application and then run after that uh, again debugging procedure is there using the sdk's debugging tools and after that you need to perform the testing of that particular application that it will actually work like uh, expectation or not there is one question for you guys that is what is sdk and uh, how and why it should be used so sdk is a uh, software development kit it contains the as earlier as i said uh, this is a development tool and uh, it contains the debugger library and sample codes also so that you can ready madely use it and uh, you will get a good product so uh, as earlier i said there are uh, various uh, languages in which you can write the application I, uh, as i said there first of all uh, c and c++ introduced by the android developers but uh, due to some circumstances they are uh, removed and after, after that uh, 
there Google launched one uh, ASC that is Android scripting environment okay uh, that you can write the code in Java and Python also. So, uh, in 2009 also, Google released one specific language called uh, Simple, which is uh, very relevant to the uh, Android developer to develop particular application. That is, it is uh, some based on the basic and it is very uh, easy to uh, learn and use uh, so that uh, it is comfortable to all the amateur and professional programmers also to uh, use that particular language to write the Android application. Uh, main uh, next is the reason for this growth that is for the Android is in boom in the market. Why it is so that first of all reason is the open source as I said earlier that uh, anybody can uh, see the code okay anybody can uh, modify the code according to him and then he can uh, launch that particular version of the uh, operating system to the market that whatever updates are there they are freely available to the anyone in this world. So that uh, it makes it very uh, good and uh, that's why many of the uh, mobile handset companies are using it uh, as it is free of the cost. Okay, So it is the main advantage during uh, due to this growth and uh, second one is the uh, it is uh, having uh, multiple versions that is for the and uh, Apple phones okay there is iOS one version is there it is made available to the user and uh, next is the it is supported by the Google and uh, as we know that uh, with great growth uh, great responsibility comes that is the uh, fragmentation and uh, security because uh, there are uh, numerous types of devices in the market that is they are having different size they are having different specification different hardware features interfaces it's such uh, devices are their market and uh, one of the responsibility of the android uh, developer that you have to manufacture a certain application in such a fashion that it should suit all type of the hardware devices and all types of the Futures of that particular devices because uh, it make a good remark for the particular user in the market and second one is the security because as we know uh, the number of customers of the Android applications are going on in the market and accordingly the data also increases of the particular users and as the data increases so it is one of the big issue that provide the security to that particular user and user data and as we know that uh, this application is open that's why it is a great responsibility for the android developer to maintain the security for the user data one uh, so these are some references i used to make this video thank you